What's going on streamers? So today I'm going to talk about the editor and the layout editor as these both go hand in hand here with the Streamlabs desktop. So what you're going to want to do is click on the very first thing here. This is going to be the editor. This is where you're going to be doing a lot of your work, getting your stream and everything set up. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough. This is going to be your preview and this is where you're going to be able to see everything. This is what the people who are watching are going to be able to see when you go live. Your mini feed is going to be your activity. So when people follow, host, donate, whatever the case may be. Down here are your scenes. This is where I like to consider scenes to be more of like PowerPoint slides. And then your sources are going to be all the information that you're going to be putting on those scenes. So for a PowerPoint reference, it's going to be all the information you put on that PowerPoint slide. Then you're going to have your mixer information. So this is going to be like your desktop audio, your microphone, if you add one and so on and so forth, like where all your audios and everything go. Now for the layout editor, this we're going to go over here to the left hand side and you're going to see this window looking thing. Click on that. That is where you're going to be able to see your layout editor. Now by default, this is what you're going to see and you can just hold the left click and drag and you can move things around if you want it to be in different areas. And if you like how it is, you can hit save changes and now everything is different. And then if you ever want to go back and just try different ones out, you can do that too. You can move things around again, different types of styles to try. Now, the one thing that I do like about the layout editor is it does give you different types of elements that you can add. So you can add in the mini feed, legacy events, editor display, the mixers, the scene selector, the stream preview and stuff like that. So that way you have complete full customization of this. All you got to do is just drag it in. If you like how it looks, hit save, and then you'll be able to have something like this. You know, it's completely customizable to you. But the other really cool thing about the layout editor is you can create these things called tabs. So if you have, say, this one right here and you want to keep it, Go ahead and click on the add new and just give it a random icon. Doesn't really matter which one it is. I'm just going to use the heart and I'm going to call it just two. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to go to say this one and I'm going to go back to the editor and I'm going to leave it like that. Hit save changes. Now this is how it looks here, but if I go over and hover, over where this down arrow is, you're gonna see that icon. So if you click on it, it's going to change it. So that way all you gotta do is just click between the different profiles or the different tabs, whatever way you wanna call it. And that way you don't have to constantly go into the layout editor and then check this and then move this one and then hit save. It's all right there, very seamless. You just gotta hover over it and keep changing it. But that is everything that I have today about the editor and the layout editor. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you like videos like this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.